Hello everyone, Peter Smith here. We're at the UN, Commission on Population and Development, and we're in conference room five. Uh, this is where the negotiations happen, but they're not, they're not negotiating this morning. I've got uh, Anne with me now. Um, would you like to introduce yourself, Anne? Yes, certainly. My name is Anne Belage. I'm with Womb International. That's an international body of um, uh, fertility education with the Billings Ovulation Method. And I'm here with Peter now at That's the That's natural CBD. family planning, isn't it? It is. Basically. Yeah. It is. It's yeah. natural family planning, yeah. and specifically with the Billings Ovulation Method, which mm -hmm. was founded in 1953 with John and Lynn Billings, doctors from Australia. Australia. Yeah. Ah, oh, the Aussies come up with some good yes, things, they do. don't they? Yes, they we used to have Sue Fry used to come before you. Yes, she had yes. those little charts all over the place yes, everywhere. It was wonderful. Yep. She would uh, talk to everyone, talk yeah. to all the delegates, talk to yep. all the all the representatives, and really encourage people to understand about natural fertility. Mm -hmm. And so we now, as a team here at the UN, we try and do the same. Okay. How long have you been coming? I've been coming for about four years. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. So it's been very good. It's been a very good experience. Um, I bring uh, a lot of enthusiasm from our group yeah. to the UN and uh, always with a keen interest in helping people understand natural fertility. Yeah, and you do workshops and stuff? We do. When we're mm -hmm. able to, we, yeah. we are granted permission to put on parallel events and we will um, invite people to come and uh, learn about fertility and the Billings ovulation method, which is present yeah. in many, many countries throughout the world. We yeah. have 50, at least 50 mm. different yeah. global affiliations throughout uh, developing countries and developed countries. So we really enjoy mm -hmm. being able yeah. to teach women in different countries mm -hmm. about their natural... Um, you do it in China, do you? We do. We yeah. do it in China. We yeah. do it in India. We do it yeah. in South Africa, in, in Central America. Yeah. No harmful side effects. Nothing. No it's, drugs. No harm, sorry, harmful side effects. No drugs. Uh, it's mm -hmm. very reliable. It's safe. Yeah. It's cost free. Now, some people challenge me about the reliability. They do. Now, yeah. what, uh, yes, what is the actual. Uh, now, if people don't want to have a baby, what's right. the uh, sort of. Um, I don't like to say failure rate because I don't want right. to call a pregnancy right. a failure, but. Right. But uh, how often would a woman get pregnant in a year using this if she does it properly with a husband? Right. So if she's following the method properly, if mm -hmm. it's been methodly, uh, properly taught to her mm -hmm. and, um, and she's using it correctly and yes. applying all the strategies correctly, yes. really it's 99.5% it's effective. Wow. It, that's about one yeah. pregnancy in 4,000. Wow. And, and a thousand yeah. different pregnancies that yeah. might fail. Yeah. It's really really higher even than the contraceptives yeah, that are out there yeah. now. Now, I so, believe people use it for having babies too. Yes, they certainly do. Yeah. And actually, one of the great things about understanding your fertility is that when you recognize that there might be something that's not right, you're able to bring that information to your mm -hmm. doctor. And then you're able to have your doctor help you assess what might be the underlying cause as to why you're not becoming pregnant. Yeah. And once you're able to discover that, that can then be treated. So then your fertility re re restores it, and you are now able to find that your system works normally and yeah. you're able to conceive. So that has a success rate of about 76% when we have women who come to us no. who are infertile or deemed infertile. Yeah. And want to and use IVF able, but have problems with it. And yes, don't want or they to use can't IVF. afford it or they can't don't want it. to yes. use that. Yep. They, yep. They, they don't want Moral that method. Moral objections to That's it. right. Yep. They can yep. come and we can help them understand uh -huh. what might be interfering so with their fertility. 76% get a baby. That's right. Of those wow. that will come and not be able to and they've yeah. been deemed. So it's, it's very, very mm. effective. It's very mm. high um, pregnancy in that regard. Mm. And for those women who don't want to become pregnant, well, they understand that when they're possibly fertile, that's the time to re refrain or yeah, abstain from yes. having intercourse and they won't conceive. So you've got to have a reasonable so husband to do this. You certainly do. It's really, yeah. but you know, sometimes the husbands, they come along. Sometimes they don't always agree or, or feel comfortable with it. But if the woman is able to say, this is what I really want to do, mm -hmm. this is what I really believe, yeah. her husband will eventually, he will see the beauty in helping her understand her method. And if he's and got any brains, he'll go along with it. He will most definitely yeah. start to see the blessings from it. Yeah, yeah. And then he won't want to ask her to be doing anything else. But yeah. once the contraceptives are no longer in the picture, well then you really are working together as a family yeah. and as a unit 
It's more respectful too. It's very much more respectful. respectful yeah. And yeah. the assertion and the confidence the woman gains from understanding her fertility yeah. and having the sense of saying, if I if I engage in intercourse now, I may become pregnant yes. and that's not what I want. Yeah. Then they know they can just abstain from that. Yes. And to be able to say, I don't want to do this right now and to mm -hmm. have a legitimate reason yes. because they don't want to be bringing in another life. Yeah. They have that that confidence to be able to stand up mm -hmm. and, and assert themselves there. And their husbands begin to appreciate that. Yeah. I think you so end up with happier marriages, don't you? Very much. Uh, the yeah. divorce rate with couples who use NFP is extremely small yeah. because there's always a conversation around uh -huh. whether this is appropriate or the right time to be engaging in, in this now. Yeah. So it's really been a great blessing in many realms of the marriage Mm -hmm. and in um, helping the woman be able to assert herself and be confident. And it's herself. promoting a culture of life. Very much so. Yeah. It's, 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 it's pro-life without being pro, without yeah. saying yeah. pro-life. It's really yeah. a, an issue of respect for every individual, respect for the mother, the father, and the child. And it really brings the sense of unity uh, to, to the whole family and then to society. So, um, so your website, I've been working in this. Yeah, our website is, is Womb International. Uh, uh, the website is www.womeninternational.org. Um, the Australian website is also www.billingslife.org. Um, so those those sites you can check in the states. We have BOMA USA. Yeah. In Canada, we have Womb Canada. Yeah. You can look up those sites as well. Um, like I said, we have over 50 different mm -hmm. global affiliates. Yeah. So you can go to our Women's International site and go to the uh, Global Outreach tab. And from there, you'll be able to see if there's a Billings Ovulation mm -hmm. Method yeah. organization in your country and then how to how to contact them. That'd be great. Uh, yeah. I very much yeah. commend that work. It's, Thank it's you. Great. Yeah, we've, I've been working in the field for over 25 years yeah. now, and it's, it's really been a blessing. We'd love to have you here. That's wonderful. Thank you. Thank you very Thank much. Thank you for having me. Bye, everyone.